Hello, my dear students. I hope you are doing great and you are studying physics very well. In this class, I shall explain about a very common graph about velocity and time. So, in this class, I shall be explaining velocity time graph. So, you know already what is graph. Graphical presentations itself explain a lot of things into very smaller space. Suppose, to explain this, I need a very straight line. So, I'll use it throughout the class. Uh, in case of understanding graph, we need to know that we explain things presenting in x-axis and in y-axis. What is the magic of this thing? Suppose, this is x-axis and this is y-axis. So, we know that in this quadrant, the both things will be in plus. Like, in these cases, in x-axis, and y axis this quadrant will be plus plus so if i start from here and we reduce the other part we can see that here we'll get a two directions in one direction we need to know that in case of velocity time graph usually we put time in x axis why because if a car is moving or if anything is moving then respective of time the velocity change suppose a car is moving and in a velocity and we will show the velocity time graph in a way so that it explain what is actually the acceleration or even in case of understanding like the displacement time we know the velocity of the car if we can say that this is zero, this is one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, five minutes. So throughout this five minutes, if we can say the car is moving or even the distance like five meter, ten meter, fifteen meter, twenty meter. So I write S here. So this is five meter. 10 meter, 15 meter, 20 meter and this is 1 minute, 2 minute, 3 minute, 4 minute, 5 minute so I didn't put minute every time because I will write here t in minute but I put meter here so I can deduct every meter here and then we can express this s will be expressed as meter ok so if we show a line to explaining what is the velocity or the speed of a car so if we can say that in one minute it starts from zero when it's one minute it reaches the five meter in two minutes it reaches ten meter in three minutes it reaches fifteen meter and even in four minutes it reaches up to twenty meter so what is the expression of the line this line shows this this directly it shows that it increasing every moment so this straight line is showing that the displacement of the car or anything or moving substance is increasing every single moment and if we explain this s by meter if i say that this is meter per second like this is the velocity and it increasing by meter per second so we can say that a car is increasing its velocity per time unit but if if it goes through like this and this and if you say that this is 1 minute, 2 minute, 3 minute, 4 minute, 5 minute, 6 minute and similarly it's 5 meter per second, 10, 15, 20, 25 so this is V in meter per second and this is T in minute so if it's expressed like that so you can write minute and meter per second and if the line looks like this then what we need to know this line is showing that 
when time increases, when time passes, like for in one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, every single moment, the speed of the car is deteriorating. It shows that if we need to know in a minute speed, like here, the acceleration is like three to four. So if we plot a point and we need to know what is the things going on in one minute, then we need to know that if this amount of change happens here in this amount of changes of time then it would be like that so this simple line expresses the variations of time and this perpendicular line expresses the variation of velocity so we will have the acceleration like variations of velocity over time and we know that what's going on in this one minute the velocity was 15 meter per second and right now it's getting 10 meter per second so when the velocity was in two minute 15 meter per second and velocity goes 10 meter per second in third minute so what's going on within this one minute so this is one minute two minute three minute suppose so in in one minute when it was in one minute time the velocity was 20 meter per second suppose so 20 meter per second when it comes two minute it getting 15 meter per second or the third minute is getting 10 meter per second so we need to know the gradient and we need to know the accelerations dividing the velocity changes by time taken so in second minute the velocity was 15 and in third minute the velocity was 10 so what was the changes of time irrespective of changes of velocity it was the velocity changes 15 10 so it over it was 15 i mean it was uh, the final velocity is 10 the initial velocity was 15 so it's getting decreased so it over like velocity 10 minus 15 in one minute so it would be minus 5 per one minute so we can write in 60 seconds so we can write 5 by 60 this is actually meter per second and this is second so it will be minus 1 over 12 meter per second square so from the graph we know that what are the changes happens into the specific time and that's called instantaneous velocity so we, we can see this is the graph is given of a car is moving for six minutes and in this throughout the time the velocity was decreasing and this decreasing velocity shows that a decreasing velocity shows that a is negative and this negative a expresses the retardation the retardation or deceleration but here if we know the gradient of this two minutes from here if we say that if we want to count from one to three so what will happen in one minute to three minutes here so in this three minute the velocity changed to this level so this amount of spaces expresses the velocity change and this amount expresses the change of time so if you want to know the acceleration del v over del t we need to know from 5 meter per second to 15 meter per second so the initial velocity was 5 meter per second of the car according to the graph and v is 15 meter per second and the time is from here to here so 1 to 3 so from 1 minute to 3 minutes is 2 minutes so in 2 minutes is actually 120 seconds so the acceleration would be changes of velocity like 15 
minus 5 over 120 seconds. So it will be 10 over 120 meter per second square. So we need to know that which graph shows what data and how the line represents the graphical presentation of a moving car. So if it's given like that, suppose this is y-axis, this is x-axis. So if something showing like this, that means it changed dramatically. And from one point of time, it shows that it was in a movement. And then after, suddenly it's deteriorating. So from this time, point of time, the velocity was high and then after it's decreasing. But from this point to this point, velocity increased. You certainly found some sort of very common graph like this in your mathematics. When we will do some mathematics in case of um, understanding more about physics, velocity, speed, we can find this one very commonly like this. Suppose this is x-axis and this is y-axis. A car is moving like this uh, from here, like this and like this. And what expresses this graphical presentation? It means that from this point to this point, and if it is t is expressed at second and this v in meter per second it means with this amount of time this amount of velocity change and this amount of time like this velocity didn't change so it was the uniform velocity and I said earlier, in case of uniform velocity, there is no acceleration. Because there is no change of velocity. So if there is no change of velocity, there would not be any sort of acceleration. So this uniform velocity expresses the acceleration is zero. So from this point to this point to this point to this point, this CD expresses that A would be negative, that BC expresses A would be zero, and this AB expresses that A would be positive, because it shows the increment of the line and it means changes happening positively. So the positive changes of velocity, the increase of velocity means the positive acceleration. The decrease of velocity over the time taken expresses the negative velocity so negative retardation so negative retardation uh, sorry negative acceleration means retardation and deceleration so this very common velocity time graph i explained it and if when you'll study you'll definitely draw these things and you'll think what's given and this is very primary lecture i shall be explaining more tough and more complicated graph next classes and definitely will let me know that what are the obstacles you faced on your study time. So this is a primary level explanation regarding velocity time graph and from the next class I shall explain more about the mathematical uh, explanations and of course this type of graph you will see very commonly in this chapter. So see you on the next class and please stay well, stay blessed. Bye.